Did you know that the Olympics are happening in London this summer? Yes, I did. I saw something on the news about it the other day. They'd showed some jockey on a racehorse carrying some torch. Don't they do something with a torch and fire every Olympics? Yes, they do. There are a whole ton of things that everyone thinks of with the Olympics. Rings, mottos, medals. But the torch starts the games and ends the games. Did you know that they used the symbol of fire at the ancient games all the way back over 2,700 years ago? Seriously? And they still do it? Yep. The first Olympics were held in 776 BC on the plain of Olympia in Peloponnesus. Say that again. Peloponnesus. Cool. Anyway, that was where they were held. The first games actually only had one event, a sprint, and it was run by naked guys. Naked? Yes, totally nude. Anyway, the winner got a wreath of olive branches on his head. They still do that at the Olympics today, too, don't they? Yes, that's something else that people think about when they hear about the Olympics. But anyway, we were talking about the Olympic torch. Okay, so they used fire back then, too? Yes, I guess that fire was considered as divine by the ancient Greeks. And since the games were held in honor of the god Zeus, they lit a ton of extra fires at his temple, and at his wife's temple, too. What was her name? Hera. And get this, they kept the fire going the whole time. There was only one race. That was just at the first Olympics. Over time, they added all kinds of stuff. Anyway, when they started the modern Olympic Games, they took up the tradition. They light the Olympic flame at the place where Hera's temple stood. Why not Zeus's? I don't know, but they light it there in Olympia. And this is really cool. They use a parabolic mirror to focus the rays of the sun and still make the fire using only the sun's rays. Really? Yes, they do this for every Olympics. And then they keep the flame alive. It travels to the country that's hosting the Olympics, and then the tradition of the torch traveling all over that country begins. How do they get it to the host country? Usually by plane. They have special enclosed lanterns for the flight, and the rest of the time it's run by propane. And get this, one news report that I read said that they, t they book special hotel rooms each night where a team of people guard the light. Then eventually, after traveling the country, they get to the main stadium. And then that's where they light the big fire at the opening ceremony? Yes. They normally have some famous personal athlete do the final lighting, and then the big torch is kept lit the whole way through the games. Then at the end, it gets put out, and it's all over until the next Olympic torch is lit and a new journey begins. That is so cool. I can't wait to see that in London in just a few weeks' time.